The Vermont Immunization Registry is an important resource for medical providers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Whether your patient received a dose of COVID vaccine at a pharmacy, a hospital, or a mass clinic, the record of that encounter, including lot number and vaccine type, and where your patient received the dose, should be in the registry. In this video, we are going to show you how to use some new reports in the Vermont Immunization Registry to identify patients who have received a COVID dose, who are overdue for a second dose, and to find and reach those who have received none at all. We will also show you how to print a record of your patient's COVID vaccine history. For the purpose of this video, we are going to assume you have an account and know how to log in and look up a patient. We will begin on the vaccine grid inside a patient record. I select the patient, then choose Immunization Registry from the blue navigation bar on the left of the screen. From the Patient Demographic page, choose Immunization Registry on the blue navigation bar to get to the Immunization Grid. It is also the window to the Patient and Practice Level Reports. This video is going to discuss three Practice Level Reports that can be very helpful to helping you understand COVID vaccination coverage in your practice and reach out to patients who are not fully immunized. If your practice is going to administer COVID vaccine, you will want to identify people in your practice who have not received a COVID dose yet. The patient list by date of birth has been modified to pull this information for you, so you can either call or mail notices to people in your practice who are not yet protected against COVID-19. You can tailor your list to any age group by choosing specific age ranges. If you want to find the 20 to 30 year olds in your practice, for example, Enter today's date minus 30 years for the start date and today's date minus 20 years. Now, check the box that says select only patients with no doses of COVID vaccine. If you choose Create Report, it will print a list of patients with their names, addresses, and phone numbers. You can also print a list of mailing labels to contact those same people. Just enter the same date information, click the Select Only Patients with No Doses of COVID Vaccine, then choose Create Labels. This will generate a list of 3 by 10 labels that you can print and mail. Many patients in your practice have already received one or more doses of COVID vaccine. The Patients Immunized by Series report will select and print a list of your patients in a selected age range who have received one or more doses of COVID vaccine. The report shows which type of COVID vaccine each patient received, as well as listing all doses. Find the blue navigation bar on the left of the vaccine grid. Select Patients Immunized by Series. Choose COVID-19 for the vaccine group. This vaccine was released 12-15-2020, so use that as the start date. The end date should be today's date. Now, choose whether you want an alphabetical list or a list by date of birth, and choose Create Report. The registry can also help you find patients who may have missed their second dose of vaccine. The Not Up to Date report can generate a list of people who received one dose of COVID vaccine that requires two doses and are overdue for their second dose. Find the Not Up to Date report on the blue navigation bar. Choose the COVID-19 vaccine group. Now enter the age range of patients you want to assess. For this report, we suggest you look at the practice in 10-year increments because this report can take longer to run and can time out if the group is too big. Let's try using the age range of 1-1-1950 through 1-1-1960. Now choose Create Report. All of these reports work because the IMR links people with practices. Who are your patients according to the registry? Anyone who has received a dose of vaccine at your practice becomes associated with your practice in the registry. Flu doses and COVID doses are not included. When you run an IMR report, it runs this group of patients who are associated to your practice. Only family practices, internal medicine providers, and pediatric practices can have associated patients, but practices can add new patients anytime by finding the patient and changing the primary practice field to their practice, then selecting Save at the bottom of the page. Practices can also remove or inactivate a person from their practice anytime if they have moved away or changed providers. Use the Patient Status field to do this. Click on the down arrow at the right of the Patient Status field and choose Inactive, Moved or Gone Elsewhere. This person will be excluded from your patient reports. 
We think you will find these reports helpful. If you have more questions, please contact us at imr at vermont.gov or call us at 888-688-4667. Thank you for your support of the Vermont Immunization Registry.